four young Australians that do watch this film and are interested in perhaps constructing their own evil lair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are some things that you really want to be... Look, I mean, because Australia loves to renovate. Mm -hmm. You know, what are some things you're really going to need? For an evil lair, I think first you want to look for a, a large abandoned space, right? They sure. usually start in abandoned... Somewhere abandoned. Planetariums or in museums a, or... In an abandoned section of town. Mm -hmm. I don't know if those exist anymore. Oh, yeah. Or uh, some sort of rocky mountain hideout mm -hmm. that can work. Or an island. Well. Or an island. Mm -hmm. um, and then in terms of inside, once you're inside the lair, you're going to want uh, uh, some sort of nondescript basic control panel like area mm -hmm. with buttons and dials. Dials. Uh, you need that. Maybe like a wall of, of gadgets and weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, a changing area change costumes, mm -hmm. capes and whatnot. And, and people, you never have too many bathrooms. People forget. Whether it's a lair or whether it's a vacation home. Yeah. At what point did you realize that Megamind was really into his 80s metal? That was, you know, that was kind of piecemealed out to me as, you know, Tom would explain, you know, okay, in this scene you're going to be walking out to, you know, Guns N' Roses. And, and I, I, I thought, Oh, that's great. All those choices are so clever. Uh, plus the fact, I, I, I was like, really, can you afford... Yeah. I'm, 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 worse, I'm, I'm used to working on movies where we can't afford the music <laughs> ever. So I was like, are you sure you can get that song? I'm like, oh, yeah, we're getting that song. So uh, I thought it was a great touch to, uh, to this guy. Yeah. Well, with all the capes and the boots. Yeah, so his yeah. look is definitely inspired by... Yeah. It's Ronnie James Dio with mm -hmm. blue skin. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Which it's... it's it's a great juxtaposition because he, it, on one hand, he, he kind of, his outward appearance is, oh, he's such a badass, but he's really not at all. So it's, it makes it very funny. There's a scene where uh, your character, Roxy, is, is stuck in possibly the worst date of all. Well, a good mm -hmm. date gone mm -hmm. really, gone really very bad. Badly. Mm -hmm. Really bad. And, mm -hmm. and you're both in this scene. I'm just wondering, like, if someone does find themselves in that situation, what are some things that you can do to make at least the night somewhat of a success? To, yeah, to, uh, if your date turns out to literally not, to literally be your nemesis <laughs> instead of the person you thought you were on a date with, margaritas. Yeah, margaritas. Probably would make that work. Um, right. Shots of Patron. Uh, jetpack. If you had a jetpack, you'd out of there. If you had uh, the jet toilet. The jet toilet, something that we, we talked about, about in the invention. Yeah. Gadget. You could get out of the situation. Mm -hmm. Tina, I have used my exceptional journalism skills to figure out that you are someone that does wear glasses of occasion. I do occasionally, yes. How do you find the 3D movie experience? Uh, um, it's good because everyone looks like me <laughs> in the theater, so I don't have all the usual terrible shame I have for wearing, no. Uh, I have to, sometimes I have to wear my 3D glasses over my real glasses. Um, but there have been such improvements in the, the 3D glasses technology. Remember they used to be like big and now they're just kind of, kind of normal and cool. I have a 3D welding mask, uh -huh. so it's an entire plate of glass. Mm -hmm. Your BYO. That I just yep. lower down. Yeah. And uh, works great for me. So up for the trailers. Here comes the movie. Right. Here comes yep. the movie. Yeah. Little little uh, platform inside with cheese and crackers. <laughs> he just goes. Think of everything. And then it reloads. <laughs> like kind of like a hamster feeder thing. Just, yeah. yeah. I like that. That's totally self-sufficient.